Um, so here are some exceptions um, to the ELD rules. So the exception is if a vehicle is manufactured before the year 2000. Um, now they do have, so you might have a 2004 Kenworth. And if you replace the motor, the engine of that Kenworth with a 1998 Kenworth engine, then technically, yes, you are in that exemption status, but you have to have proof. That's one of the exemptions. Um, if you qualify for timesheets, which is qualify for the short haul provisions, then that's also an exemption. And at that point, you would not have to have ELDs. Um, or if you're a drive away, tow away operation, then you don't have to have ELDs as well. Now, like I said, uh, with the interstate purpose, there is going to be some variables to this and things change. So as the regulations change, yes, it might change. But for now, this is what we find it is. Um, Chrissy, on the do you have any feedback on any of these exceptions or exemptions? Do you have any clients that are using any of these? Well, I can tell you overall for the 99 and before trucks, there's been confusion because of, like you said, it's off the engine serial number. So just because your truck is a 2001 doesn't mean it necessarily has a 2001 engine in it. I just had a client recently who has a fleet of 2001 internationals and they found out one of those trucks out of all their trucks, the engine was made in 96. So then it did run into communication issues with their ELD once they started running it. Um, majority of my clients that do have trucks older than a 99, if it has the diagnostic port for the plug and plays, they at least try it at first because you're going to notice if half your fleet's on ELDs and half of them are on paper logs, not only is there more room for driver, there's more room for admin air as well. So I okay. still would encourage if you have a 98 Kenworth, maybe a T660 or something along those lines, still try the ELD for a little bit and then see if you start to run into the problems of the communications. Um, but overall, I've only had two trucks out of probably about the 50 we put in that were older than a 99 that had those problems. Um, and then just like for the timesheets, if you are trying to use that short haul exemption, you're exempt from um, logbooks, keep in mind it's the very first time that vehicle has exceeded your exemption. So either the 100 air miles, the 12 hour work days, whatever it may be. The very first time that happens, you have eight calendar days to get that e-log installed into your truck. And they'll go off at any 30 day cycle. It's not a calendar month. So the very first time from that point on, you are required to install the ELD. Right. And they have basically if it's um, they can't exceed that, they can go to logbooks. They can revert back to logbooks eight times. But once that eighth time is done, they have to go back to ELDs, right? Absolutely. Eight times in a 30 day rolling period. Thank you.